Hey everybody, welcome to the show. This is Gary Trahey and we are now being a part of getting um, getting hot with Chef Gary. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to saying the executive keto chef and it just sort of rolls off the tongue and we're just completely changing everything to uh, getting hot with Chef Gary. Hey Chris, how you doing? And uh, finally you made it. So um, like I said, this is, this is uh, the show Getting Hot with Chef Gary. And, uh, and I'm in Wyoming, and uh, I'm absolutely loving it, and, and having, having a good time. And today, we are making, hello my friend Frank, long time, hi Mary. And uh, so today, perfect day, it's Sunday, you're just kind of going around. I am trying very hard, because I, I work in a hotel now, and I do sales, I'm not, not cooking just yet, I've been... Uh, they didn't have a position available for me, so I decided to go back into sales. So what I'm doing is I'm making all my food for the week. And uh, you saw the other day I made blue cheese dressing for my salads and stuff. And today I'm making some chili. Now, this thing, this thing is a real basic, real simple, real easy chili. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of put the camera down. If you want to talk to me, you can talk to me, okay? So as you can see right here in my pot, I put in uh, just uh, probably about oh, a quarter cup of coconut oil. This is going to be a combination of um, paleo, keto, normal cooking, okay? So, hey, Patty, how you doing? So, um, so like I said, this is going to be, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you alternatives to be able to do this um, low carb, almost no carb, vegetarian, vegan, and doing this also with all different meat options. So in here I have, I'm doing some red onions. Normally people do white onions and stuff, but I like red onions. I think they have a nice little sweetness and they're good for chili. So I have about two cups that I'm putting in there and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna let that season up. And we're gonna have a chance to talk in just a second, but I wanna just be able to get these on here and, uh, and I love just the smell of this. And you could do a combination of onions, which is really cool. Red onion, white onion, shallots. Um, you can even do leeks and put leeks in at the end. Really, really great way of doing it. And folks, this is a really fast, fast dish on how this gets put together. You can do this in a slow cooker. Chili is so versatile. Okay, and if you don't like onions, by golly, don't add the onions. So I have the onions in there, and those are getting hot. I have about two and a half pounds, three pounds of ground beef. And I'm doing mine with ground beef. And you can do whatever you can afford, okay? You can do, if you have to do high fat, um, then that's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with high fat at all, especially when you're doing chili. It just adds a lot of flavor. Really, really good stuff. And then you can do, um, uh, let me bring my towel. And uh, you can just, you can do, uh, Grass-fed, organic, whatever you want to do, just whatever's gonna whatever's gonna be good for you and your family to be able to afford that you can extract as much flavor. Now let's talk for a minute, okay? Let's talk for just a second. Um, hey, Bilat, how you doing? You should be over here joining me, eating some food. So, uh, so what we're gonna be doing is the thing about um, uh, chili is this. Now I'm doing mine with ground beef. Chili is so flipping versatile from this point. What you can do is if you are a, um, if you want to, you don't want to do beef, you want to do chicken, add ground chicken or do chunk chicken. If you want to do pork, add ground pork or chunk pork. And it doesn't matter what kind you use, I mean, from what part of the pig. Um, you can do, um, uh, uh, you can do from this point, you can do tofu. Hey, Mary Palazuski. And the, hey, Bolette, how you doing? And hey, Josh, my buddy Josh. And so you can do, um, um, uh, uh, like I said, you can do, you can add tofu, you can make this vegetarian, or you can make this vegan if you want. Um, you can do, folks, you can even do a salmon, um, a salmon uh, chili and a shrimp chili. You would wait um, on that step when you're going to add seafood. Hey, hey, Tuffy, how you doing? Andy, yes, Andy. Um, Andy just said elk and deer, lots of game. You can do lots of game on all these things too. And it's really, 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 really fast. Okay, so this is just a basic one. Okay, 
on how you can do this. And it fits every single meal type, vegetarian, hello, Robbie, um, every single meal type. You can do normal, you can do low carb, you can do vegetarian, and you can do vegan. And this is one of the great things about chili. It's all about what your flavor is. A seafood chili, kind of like a gumbo. Oh my God, be awesome. That's basically what it is. So I have this right in here. So now I've got my, my beef, and it's, all this is doing is I have my beef and my onions, and I put a little coconut oil in there. And I'm just letting this cook down. Now, as you can see, the meat is, is, uh, is pretty much almost, I would say, almost cooked. And this hasn't really taken too long. If anybody has any questions, please come on in. And, uh, and, and you'll love to be able to chat with you. And uh, it always makes the show a little bit, a little bit more fun. So you're just going to cook down your ground beef. Now what I'm going to do is this. Let me show you this. This is a, these are my spices, spices that I've come up with. And it's just a dry blend, and I'm going to give you the list of it, all right, of how, what I put in my dry blend. Um, you're making me lunch since I'm working. I want to, what? Okay. So, I'll read that in a minute, Josh. So, okay, so this is my spice blend. I'm just going to dump that right in there. Now, my spice blend, now the reason I'm dumping it in there, and the reason why I'm doing it while the meat is still not completely cooked, is I want to be able to get the flavor really, really infused with the meat. Okay? That's really important to be able to do that. Because that way it just, it seasons everything right from the beginning. Okay? So in this spice combination, I have a half a cup of chili powder. Two tablespoons of paprika. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper. By the way, I like my chili spicy. So that was one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Um, excuse me, one, yeah, one, and one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, a half, quarter cup of granulated garlic. I also have a quarter cup of cumin, um, one teaspoon of oregano, Mexican oregano is the best, and then one teaspoon of red, um, crushed red pepper flakes. Like I said, I do like this pretty spicy. Now what I'm going to do is, because of the fact that I sometimes, if you want to go real low carb, and, and, and you want to be able to do this, um, you can also add a quarter cup of me, um, mesa, which is the Mexican flour, and that they make tortillas out of, or just take a couple flour or corn tortillas, run them through a food processor, which is also really, really, really good. Hello, Ms. Shala. How are you, my friend? And... Uh, and then, um, so that's kind of what I, I, you can do. So you can do your own, your own mesa and, or anything like that. Some recipes you look at, you can do um, uh, um, regular all-purpose flour. I do not like that at all. I just don't think it gives it the right flavor I'm looking for. So I, but instead, I'm doing this kind of low carb. So I'm going to add a can of tomato paste to this. And I'm going to let that be the thickener instead of adding extra carbs with the, you know, the, uh, the mesa and, or using all-purpose flour. So I got that going in there. Okay? Folks, this is going to be done in just another couple minutes. Hi, Lori. How you doing, my friend? I miss you. And, oh, gosh, all my Connecticut friends are coming on. So I have that there. Next, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take, I got two big cans of, they're the 28-ounce of crushed, uh, excuse me, of diced tomato. So I have my diced tomato, I have two cans of that. I don't like doing um, crushed tomato, and I'll tell you the reason why. Crushed tomato, um, it just makes it too, I like, you know, my, my chili to have some substance. And look at that, doesn't that look great so far, folks? I mean, and folks, this is taking only maybe about seven, eight minutes so far. Really, really fast. Now, from this point, since I got all that in there, I have, now this is where the carbs come in, okay? I have kidney beans, and I also have uh, kerneled corn. The reason I put kerneled corn in there is because I'll tell you the reason why. Um, my mom makes it that way. And I love my mom, and my mom makes her chili with corn, and it just brings back fond memories for me. Look at how incredibly thick 
this is. It looks amazing. It just looks so darn good. And um, so I have that. And folks, that's pretty much. So I'm going to get one of my cans of tomatoes that I put in there. And I have some cold water. And I'm going to throw in one and a half cans of tomatoes. Uh, one and a half cans of the, uh, the water. Okay? And just put that in there, or you can add a stock. It doesn't really matter, whatever you want to do. And folks, all I'm going to do is I'm going to let that stir. And I'm just going to let that cook. It's going to thicken, it's going to thicken up with the water. All those flavors are going to blend. Like I said, you can do this and throw this in a slow cooker. It's absolutely fantastic. The flavor is going to be outrageous. And folks, that took less than, I think, 10 minutes for me to completely put together. And look at how much it made. This is going to be a, um, one of those kind of meals where you can actually um, feed your family. This would feed a family of four maybe two or three times. You know, this is going to literally last me. I'm going to take a portion of this, and I'm going to actually have this. Um, I'm going to freeze a portion of it. Unless I have people over for lunch and stuff like that, I'm just going to give it a little taste. Wow, it's not hot. It's got some spice to it. Boy, that's going to be really good. It's going to be really good in probably about uh, two or three hours. I'm going to let it slow cook on top of the stove. Like I said, from here you can transfer it into a slow cooker and just let it cook all day. And and or if you want to do it later on, you sometimes you don't have time. Just make it at night and throw it in a slow cooker overnight. And and that's what I do. Put it on real super low, and it just smells up the whole house. Really, really good. And I love how absolutely um, chunky this is. It's really, 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 really good. And if you look at that, look at how chunky that is. Look at that. And folks, this isn't even close to being done yet. This is now, with all those spices and everything, so easy. Now, one of my favorite things to do when I'm making chili, and what my mom used to do, is she would always make it with, with, uh, with regular white rice. White rice, brown rice, and she would always have it to the side, and we'd always put it in the bowl and pour our chili over it. It's my favorite way to do it. Like I said, this is a comfort food for me, and I just absolutely love, um, I just bring back great memories, okay? And that's what food should do, bring back memories. So I have that, and I'm going to, um, and so usually you make rice, but you can also make rice, rice cauliflower if you're going no carb. And uh, thank you, and uh, yes, that Lori, she made great chili. And so when, um, but you can also do, um, uh, you can do rice cauliflower and make it low carb. Hey, Billy. And um, Billy, friend of mine up in Casper, really awesome cook. One of these times he's going to come down to Cheyenne and we're going to do a show. And so, um, but with, with the chili, um, you can do, like I said, regular rice. You can do it with um, riced cauliflower. If you're doing a no carb, if you're doing paleo or keto, you can do that. Um, you, for uh, keto or paleo, you can leave out the beans and the corn to be able to stay within your dietary guidelines. Um, this is a, a great dish for people that are um, with diabetes. You know, again, leave out as much carbs as you can if you have diabetes because it all turns to sugar. And so you want to be able to avoid that. Um, there's a lot of different ways. And you can, like I said, you can also do this completely vegan, which is for, I have a couple people that are vegan on here and they want to be able to do it. So just leave out the meat, um, all meat products. You can do tofu if you want. Now, in keto and paleo, we don't do tofu. Um, but if you're vegan, go for it. Um, and just add more beans. And the beans, you don't have to add kidney beans. You can add kidney beans, black beans, navy beans. You can add a plethora of all different kinds of beans. Um, if you're doing pork, a really awesome pork, ch uh, pork chili is doing gr uh, ground pork and then taking bacon and chop it up really, really good and put it in there. Do like a bacon chili. Oh my God, it is so flipping good. So folks, what I'm doing right here, like I said, this is the chili. Really, really good. I'm going to let this cook for probably, oh, the least the next three or four hours. And this is going to flavor and it's just going to smell up the house and it is going to be gorgeous. And I hope you saw how absolutely easy this was and, and to be able to do this. Super, super easy, folks. And, and, and just 
you know, realize that I do like it spicy, but you can even add more spice. When I finish the dish, when I usually do it with rice or a rice cauliflower, put the chili over the top, sour cream, and then I put jalapenos and chopped cilantro, everything. You can serve it with chips, do anything you want. Serve it over french fries if you want, if you're going to carve out that day. Do anything you want. Also, it's really good in the morning, this chili, and you put it in a pan and you drop some eggs in it. And you can even have it for breakfast and serve it with tortillas. Do whatever you want. If you want ideas, message me and I'll, and I'll help you out. Okay, folks? So, folks, this is Gary Trahi cooking with Getting Hot with Chef Gary. And um, this is kind of fun. And uh, I kind of like where the show's going in the new direction. Give me some feedback. I'll look forward to talking to you all later. Again, this is Chef Gary, Cooking Hot with Chef Gary. Talk to you later.